According to a recent UNICEF report, out of 57 million school-aged children who are not in school, one million of these statistics are in Kenya, with up to 30% living in the informal settlement zones within Nairobi County. Although free primary education is now universal in Kenya, many challenges hinder these children living within these informal settlements from accessing education. This is because the initial cost involved in enrolling children to schools often create a barrier as many parents and guardians from these informal settlements live on less than one dollar a day. To this end, Life Skill Promoters, founded in Kenya in year 1999 as an empowerment initiative for young people, has developed a comprehensive platform to empower children and youth with life skills that help them cope with day-to-day -day challenges. Life Skills has many projects. Among them is a UNICEF-funded project of enrolling out-of-school children back to school. After mainstreaming of the life skills education, we felt there was a need to apply life skills to different emerging issues facing our target group, that is being the children and youth, and of course their parents. For the last 20 years we've done that and uh, we've applied life skills as a foundation to any program we do build impacting children and youth. Our rationale is that life skills is a mindset changing uh, skill and so most of the things that impede people from moving on with life, developing themselves, is uh, attitudes they hold. So we seek to develop mindset, even as we intervene in various things they are going through. The platform is known as Watoto Tusome. Damaris Njiroge is the project manager. This project started after UNICEF did a survey in the country in the year 2016 and discovered that there are about one million children who are out of school despite the fact that there is a free primary education policy in Kenya. The project's specific objectives included to increase demand for out-of-school children, to increase school retention among 37,790 out-of-school children enrolled in schools, and finally to promote gender equity in the provision of education for out-of-school children. The target of the Ministry of Education is to have all the school-going children in school. That is 100%. And now, with this effort of life skill, they are part of the partners who we are working together. A total of Kenny shillings 10.67 million has been disbursed towards improvement of school infrastructure, such as desk repairs in schools, to create more sitting places for the newly enrolled children. When children walk to schools which are heavily populated, without desks, without chairs, they actually discourage them to go back home. With UNICEF, through life skills, repairing desks, buying some few desks for the school, we have seen more children who come now there. They are comfortable. Out of a target of 500 youth, the project was also able to recruit 694 youth, out of which 661 are at different levels, undergoing skills training in various institutions in Nairobi County. LISP has also enrolled 3,348 children as peer educators on interesting topics such as self-awareness and life skills. At our Toto Tusome project, which has been a three-year UNICEF-funded project, we have worked with about 21 schools. And in these schools, we have selected a, a number of children who we have taken through training, equipping them with the concept of life skills, um, so that they can be influencers in their circles. We have also trained teachers in these schools so that they are able to, to have you know, topics of discussion as they impart knowledge to these children. I go from one class to another, talking about protection, talking about the importance of education, talking about encouraging the children to work harder so that in future they will become just great men 
like the men we see in this country. For this reason, more deserving cases still need the support and hence an extension of the mandate period would greatly impact the targeted communities for better improvement of their lives. I would say that at this level and during this pilot phase, it was just like laying the foundation. And so we would urge UNICEF and any other well-wisher who would be willing to support this, this noble cause to support another phase so that we are able to sustain the gains that we have made in the pilot phase.